Thank you uh, for the invitation um, and for the introduction. Um, this is for Gordon uh, in a special occasion. Um, I have met uh, Gordon in, I think it's early 90s when I still a graduate student. Uh, he gave uh, talks about minimum repetitions. Uh, yeah, his talk is always uh, very impressive, yeah, very detailed, clear. Uh, later on, when I uh, graduate and uh, started learning the theory from his paper, yeah, it's really beautiful theory. Um, so over the years, um, I have uh, a lot of equation, you know, meetings and uh, talk to Gordon, uh, learn a lot from him. Um, and later when Bai Ying went to uh, Utah to be his postal, um, we had uh, written one paper, which uh, about um, the new Newport orbit related to the talk uh, today. So thank you, Gordon, for over the years, a lot of um, uh, conversation, conversation, and I learned a lot from you. Um, so today I will talk uh, about the wave from set, uh, descent, um, and, and spectrum. So let's start with a uh, neopotent orbit. Uh, yeah. Uh, Degenerate with the models. G uh, is reductive group defined over local field of characteristic zero. Um, right G, yeah, it's a rational point and uh, uh, Lie group. Uh, so we take the set of F rational neopotent orbit uh, elements uh, in the Lie algebra. Uh, and then uh, with not zero here, the circle, it means uh, F rational adjoint orbit. Uh, and then we consider the stable orbit uh, among these. So it's classical theory that uh, this stable orbit set is finite. Uh, and parameterized by combinatorial data, right? Partitions or Balakada data. Okay. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we want to know more about the classification of the rational orbits. Uh, this is also known by various methods and by many people. I, I will not mention here. I think uh, Carter's book, right? What's by G paper? Uh, and so on. Okay, so take X, a, a neopotent element, and so you can form a SL2 triple, and by the adjoint of this H, the Lie algebra has a great decomposition to the eigenspace. And so you take the U, uh, this is the index less than negative five. Yeah, so this is like, you are like a lower triangular unipotent, and then you have parabolic, and this is the levy part. Uh, and, and so you take, take the unipotent subgroup whose U, Lie algebra is U, okay? And similarly, define P and M so that you have parabolic subgroup of G uh, depends on uh, the stable orbit, right, up to conjugate. And so you take uh, this two part, yeah, and you form the subgroup and you take a character. Yeah, so this is uh, using killing form and to become a character of the group. That's, these are standard, right? And so, 
So there is a situation that uh, this G negative one, zero or non-zero, right? If zero, you usually you get uh, like a Bessel type, right? So I mean, this even you have free coefficient. Uh, if this non-zero, and then you may get the free Jacobi type. Yeah, so, so you define this is sympathetic. Yeah, so in other words, this negative one has sympathetic structure. And so you get Heisenberg group like this. And then you you can have, this is the character, yeah, facts slow here and define the character of, of, of this Heisenberg. And so you take a smooth oscillator representation uh, of this Heisen, generalized Heisenberg, yeah, I mean Heisenberg. And so you pull back to this generalized Heisenberg. Yeah, okay. So in this talk, uh, we denote pi fg, the set of equivalent class of irreducible smooth representation. So the, in Archimedean case, we take a Kassman Wallach type. Yeah. Uh, following Mogren was Baji, uh, or Gomez, uh, Gorevich, and Sahi, uh, we, we define this uh, degenerate with the module of pi uh, as this Jacquet uh, module. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is, this is the reason that if G negative one is non-zero, and then you have extra uh, value representation here, okay? So otherwise, uh, you just take take the jacket module here. Okay, so non-vanishing of this module, it depends on F rational near bottom orbit. And, and then you can define a so-called algebraic wave front set, yeah, so these are orbits, rational orbits. Yeah, the point is the rational orbit, uh, such that this Jackie module non non zero. Yeah, so this is the all possible modules. Um, the question is how to understand and compute this invariant. Yeah, this is invariant of pi. So why why this is important? I'll explain. So in the early 1980s, um, Roger Hall introduced a notion of wave front set for representation Lie groups through this singular support of distribution characters. Uh, it, it is important geometric invariant that describes the size and other properties of the representations. Uh, since then, a variance of wave front set were considered by various people uh, from the different perspectives. You know, you if you know this, like you heard uh, like uh, associative varieties, right? Uh, or, or this algebraic wave front come later than uh, than Roger Hall, um, like uh, by Mugrun was uh, um, uh, Kawanaka. Yeah, and so uh, uh, there's a lot, a lot of development uh, related to this important uh, environment, uh, invariance. So I, I will refer, I will not discuss uh, the details here. We we'll refer David Vaughan's Takaki lecture, uh, 2016, the size of infinite dimensional representations for more detailed discussion of the significant of the wave front set and their relatives. Yeah, this is a variant of the wave front set. Okay. And Roger Hall, 1974, and Harshanda, 1978. So for periodic field, the distribution character has a germ expansion near identity, uh, looks like this. I think as uh, Bai Ying talked about uh, in his talk, 
Yeah, so this is a complex number, and this is a Fourier transform of the hard measure on the orbit. Yeah. So then you can define the uh, as analytic wave from set pi to be uh, the the orbit such that the coefficient non-zero. Of course, you can also introduce the so-called wave from cycles. Yeah. So uh, for this. But they are uh, uh, similar. And uh, Mugurin Watsubaji uh, proved that uh, the maximum member, the maximum member of this algebraic wave front set is equal to the maximum member of this analytic uh, wave front set. Okay, so this is for periodic. Uh, by uh, Bob Ash and Wogan, 1980. So they also have the asymptotic of this gem expansion for the real case. So yeah, we, one can ask the same question uh, when F is Archimedean, yeah. So however, uh, in the Archimedean case, uh, this uh, equality, yeah, this conjecture, is not fully understood, except uh, several special cases considered by Vaughan, uh, uh, Matamoto, uh, uh, serious papers, um, Yamashita, uh, I think he, he was for um, highest weight modules, yeah, very special cases, and Gravity and Sahi. Uh, 2015. Uh, in particular, uh, Gourmet's uh, Gravici and Sahi uh, 2017 paper shows that this equality holds, yeah, this equality holds when G is a complex reductive group. Uh, it is true uh, when G is GLN, a general linear group, uh, when F is a, uh, is a real number, okay? But uh, in general, uh, not much known. Okay. Uh, a recent paper, uh, Ning Li, yeah, who, who was a student of, uh, I think, Chen Bo Zhou from Singapore, she proved this equality for some irreducible constituents of certain degenerate principal series representation of this. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this is, the, I think, more or less we know about this identity in the real case. Um, in 1996, Mugren proves that the orbit in this uh, algebraic, uh, yeah, in periodic, right? So this, uh, the wave from set maximum member, a special in the sense of Lustig, when, when pi is tempered, uh, F is periodic and G is classical. And by using, losing, uh, uh, by using argument of losing neopotent orbits, uh, by Yin and seven, uh, and me uh, generalize, generalize this result of Mogren and the method also applies applicable to automorphic case. Yeah. Some partial result analog to this result uh, uh, is known in Archimedean case. Yeah, so by Joseph and Babesh and Borgen uh, and Ben Harris. Uh, and Gomez, Gorovich, and Sahi, uh, very recent paper, uh, it's 2021, proves that the, the most general result so far. Uh, the orbit in, 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 in this maximum wavefront set, a maximum member, are quasi admissible for general reductive group of all, all local fields of characteristic zero. Okay. I think in 
in my paper with buying and, uh, and Gordon, uh, we have something, it, a few cases left out, which was discussed in Baiying's lecture. Uh, for the classical groups, the quasi admissible in the sense of Gorevich, uh, Gorevich, Gorevich, Sahi is equivalent to the special uh, in the sense of root state. Uh, uh, Mogren was a pretty post following uh, deeper uh, conjecture. So the new bottom orbit in this larger orbit of maximum wave flux uh, are associated a single F stable orbit. So if for classical group, uh, this stable orbit corresponding by, by partitions means that there's a new potent orbit show associated to a single partition. It, yeah, this same kind of uh, uh, assertion should also work for uh, automorphic setting. It is known only uh, for some special cases. See, for example, when G is G of N, uh, it is known more than what G. Uh, for Piadic, uh, this is for Piadic, and by Gormitz, Gorevich, Sahi, uh, for, for Archimedean. Uh, for the automorphic case, uh, we, well, special cases like uh, Shalika and PS uh, for, for GL, right? And then, uh, my work with Bai Ying and Bai Ying with Xu, Bing Xu uh, for GL. Yeah, we, we, we did, yeah, this Shalaika and Piatetsky Shapiro is for cast forms. And we did uh, the residue, I think the residue, uh, uh, and Bai Ying and Xu extend a more general situation. Uh, of course, uh, Ginsburg and Sudri for some more residual spectrum uh, in SP to N, okay? So you can prove this um, um, singleton, yeah, it's a so-called so, so singleton conjecture. But in general, it's not known. Yeah, judging ask, Metapractic groups. So yeah, so you can you can formulate yeah, see I think it is probably there is something known for metapractic group too. Yeah, so uh, and now how to compute this important invariant. So motivated by understanding the unitary dual by the orbit method, yeah, so-called quantization, uh, it is important to compute the wave from set, especially to know the, uh, the maximum orbit for, for pi, okay. Uh, recent paper, uh, Jeff Adam and David Wogan provides an atlas algorithm to compute the wave front set or associated variety for pi in the real case by using, yeah, their, their algorithm involves big theorems. Uh, so like a Kastidang Lustig theory, Knapp Zuckerman theory, uh, Echovarian key theory, and the work of Wolf Schmidt and Villona. <clears throat> if F is periodic, and pi is unipotent representation in the sense of author. Uh, What's Baji has a series of paper, uh, 2018, 19, 20, determines the wave front sets for the other orthogonal group. Uh, and Chipotalo, uh, uh, Messing Brown, and Akoda. Uh, recent paper determines 
uh, for the unipotent, the wing front set of unipotent uh, representation for general reductive group. But uh, the pi is assumed to Iwahori spherical. But uh, he, their, their paper uh, mentioned that there's a possibility to remove this Iwahori spherical condition. Yeah, so uh, two, two approach are uh, different. So this paper use uh, like a lustic uh, theory a lot. Yeah, uh, and then my work with Lei Zhang uh, is try to understand or compute this uh, wave front set by using local descent. So which I'll explain below. Um, yeah, this year, yeah, we are we are about finish my, uh, our paper. Yeah, so uh, Dong Wen Liu, uh, Lei Zhang, uh, we we are about finish. Yeah, it's always take a longer time uh, to finish a paper. We are about finish this paper. We will introduce uh, so called arithmetic wave front set. For for pi in uh, in this set for uh, for the moment uh, uh, we try for classic group but uh, you it is expected to for for exceptional groups and, and for the moment we also assume this pi has a generic local L parameter okay but you see uh, in in the following, we are talk. I'm talking. You see that uh, that for non-generic situation, you you also see see the patterns. Yeah. So, but uh, it need need time to formulate. Okay. So the definition involves the local Lalland's parameter means you have to use local Lalland's correspondence and the uh, local loose number competition. So uh, as suggested by Dan gross prosar conjecture, uh, and then combinatorics of these large nonlinear border orbits. Okay. So before I, I tell you what's the definition of, of the wave front set, arithmetic type, so the conjecture is the same, okay? So, but, but this conjecture will help us to compute this uh, invariant, right, from the algebraic point of view, from analytic point of view, by using arithmetic uh, in a way to compute. So we, we assume that, I think this is true, that uh, as we can prove, uh, this arithmetic view from is uh, easier to compute. Okay, so for the periodic case, Morgan Watsubaji show this algebraic wave front set equal to uh, the analytic wave front set. So, so this means that you we need to either prove this or prove that, right? So, so that you make three uh, uh, holes equal. They are, they are equal. So the wave front set conjecture can be verified for some lower rank groups like SO7 or SO9, something like this. Yeah, but it can also be verified for some family of tempered unipotent representation of other orthogonal group for any n based on the work of Watsubaji. Yeah, Watsubaji's work is closer to what uh, we, we got. Yeah, for quasi split groups, we show that um, uh, these these two things are same when pi is generic. Yeah, this is uh, like uh, e easy to prove. You know, wave front set. Uh, the point is the rational orbit. Yeah, so of course, uh, if pi is generic, uh, the the stable orbit is always 
is always the the regular orbit. But the point is this rational orbit, okay, from arithmetic side and from the algebraic side, they are same. Okay. So this means that um, this conjecture holds yeah, for, for this case. Uh, if G is uh, F split uh, are the orthogonal, we can verify uh, this identity when, when, when pi has Bessel model special type, but not generic. So this means that these representations are associated with subregular new bottom orbit. Yeah, so in other words, in this special situation, you see the, this they are same. But uh, of course, the general we need. Uh, yeah. yeah, so in general, uh, it's our intention to understand this conjecture by using local descent as developed in, in the work with Lei Zhang uh, 2018. So now let's uh, define this arithmetic wave function. Okay, so let's uh, recall that uh, Langlands, local Langlands conjecture. So for so any pi, so you can write them as pi with attached to the, the data, the L parameter, and, and irreducible representation of this guy. So yeah, so uh, for classic group, this abelian group, so that this is basically character, but for non-classic group, you may have irreducible repetition of these things. And, and, and more precise formulation, I think uh, we refer to Borel or Vaughan uh, paper. So local islands are known for many cases. Yeah, Archimedean, Bellanlands, and now uh, Lafogue and Shorts, uh, I think uh, represents the most general situation. But I will not put the detail here. I have many, many paper, many, many people, in many cases know this. And for classical groups, if this guy is generic parameter, and our recent paper with Dong Wen and Lei define this set, so called the set of L Yantabrax associates the arithmetic data. Okay. And then we define the arithmetic wave from set to be the subset of the rational neopon orbit here, which corresponding canonically with these admissible L young blocks. But in this data, there is a partition, right? So you, you need a partition. And we, we assume this partition is ordered and there is a non-increasing uh, order. And, and then about this arithmetic wave from set, uh, we have the following conjecture. Yeah, so for, for if pi attached to this data, and then, yeah, for this given data of pi determines a unique special partition. Yeah, this is for classic group, such that the wave from set, the maximum, this rational orbit is contained in the stable orbit associated to this partition. Yeah, so in other words, this is uh, like a one partition, right? And then uh, this wave from set actually can be, can be compute, yeah. Completely determined by the inductive process that defines this yeah, L young doubles. And, and the set, you know, this stable orbit, yeah, is giving, is giving by the closure of this partition. Yeah, so in other words, the partition occurs in the wave from set and then its closure uh, is this, uh, covers all the stable orbit, yeah. So uh, here, here is the theorem. So we prove that, so this arithmetic wave from set, although you're defined by uh, the arithmetic data, yeah, uh, phi chi, uh, actually is uh, invariant of, of pi. Yeah, so in other words, you know, it depends on Langlands correspondence and depends on the rationality of Langlands correspondence. 
and choice of the weak data, all and so on. So, so in other words, this set is independent of this choice. And, and part two is for F is Archimedean, uh, this, this conjecture holds. Yeah, we can prove one, two, three uh, for classic groups. Okay. And, and, and this conjecture for periodic field uh, can be checked in several cases, but uh, general case is still in progress. Yeah, we are working on this. Uh, as I mentioned here, so we assume this size, the L parameter is generic. Uh, according to our calculation for GLN, uh, actually you can, uh, you, know, you, you know, for general asset parameters. So at least you can, you can uh, study the wave front set for asset, asset type. Okay. So now we, we, we come back uh, to see how this wave front set algebraic related to the descent. So uh, we just take this special situation. Yeah, so it's uh, quasi split, uh, I mean split uh, other, other second groups. So you, this wave front set will be a second partition of, uh, of, you can write this, right? So decreasing. So the question is if pi, giving, giving such a pi, so what is like the largest part of P1 uh, in, in, in this partition, right? In, in the wave front set, right? Uh, and, and so, so, we consider this special type of partition. And this special type of partition actually is just related to the descent, okay? So in other words, you consider the partition because the other, other orthogonal group. So you, you, this type of P1 must be other number. And then uh, related to this um, partition, you have the unipotent setup a Bessel model, right? So maybe I'll just go quicker. Everyone knows this Bessel model. And, and, and then the multiplicity one theorem. Yeah, so the Bessel model is unique. So the periodic, the Eisenbauer, Gravich, Rolles, Schiffman uh, for the spherical case. And then we take uh, Gross and Prasa. Uh, using Frobenius reciprocity, you can essentially guess. Oh, sorry, this is L non zero. Okay, the general case. Yeah, so the so Archimedean case uh, was proved by uh, Bing Yongsun and Cheng Bo Zhu. Uh, we, we, for general L, yeah, we do. Yeah. We get it. And so the descent gives you the towers like this. Okay. Uh, as David just talked about, he, he, he is talking about more general situation. And so that uh, in this tower, you can define the first occurrence uh, index. Yeah, so this is called the local descent. And we show that uh, if pi is tempered or, or has generic, I think it's a generic L parameter, and so this first occurrence, yeah, can be determined by the endoscopic classification of, of pi. Okay, so uh, our conjecture was uh, at that time was this, yeah. So, so this first occurrence index actually is completely determined by determined by the wave front set, the biggest partition of this, yeah. So this is what we proved uh, with the uh, 2018. Yeah, we, we just write, write the paper for orthogonal groups. So the same thing for, for unitary group is completely the same, okay. Um, so the local descent, yeah, at the first occurrence, 
uh, is multiplicity free uh, Dirac sum or irreducible square integrable representation of the stabilizer with all its irreducible sum and belong to different Bernstein component. Yeah, so that's a very tricky point. Yeah. And, and the spectral, you know, because of your decomposition and the spectral, this, the data can be, the, the arithmetic data can be determined for this sum end, yeah, completely by local analysis correspondence. Yeah, so this, this descent, you know, is a, a computation based on um, a local GDP, yeah, gangrenous Borsa conjecture for classic groups. And, and this conjecture now is, I think is complete local conjecture, right? For, for generic parameters, um, uh, it's a theorem of Mogren, Wazabaji, and Wazabaji, Brizier, uh, Spressi, uh, Atobe, and Gen Ichino, and Hang Xu, and my students, Ziling Law, uh, and Chen Chen for orthogonal groups, right? So this is for unitary groups, this is for orthogonal groups for periodic, and this orthogonal group for, for uh, Archimedean. Yeah, so and we shall mention that uh, Hong Yu He, and Kobayashi and Spei also has some special case for orthogonal groups. I think Hong Yu He is for unitary groups. Yeah, if I know. And so, but how about the non-tempered uh, situation? Yeah, so non-tempered situation was the earlier, earliest cases that we studied, which related to functality. So the interesting case, you take a G, SO4N, and then you take the parabolic. Yeah, so you have induced representation. This has a Lanlan's quotient, yeah, which is a Shibay type. And so you, you can see that the, you, you know that this has as a parameter uh, tau two, right? And so we from said, oh, this guy is just uh, this. So we know this, yeah, so. Um, and then with, uh, with David surgery uh, and with Ning uh, Cheng, uh, we show that uh, this first occurrence index is this, and the orbit, right? Uh, we can we can consider the descent. Yeah. Um, this descent is irreducible generic supercomputer reputation uh, of this guy. And I think the complex dual group is SP. So you have this embedding. So that's the Lanlands. We show that this Lanlands functorial, functorial transfer. Uh, of this descent back to GL is just a top. Yeah, so, so in other words, uh, we have the diagram. Yeah, so I think we talked about this before. Yeah, probably you guys are familiar with this. Yeah, so you induce up, you take a line of the quotient and you take the Bessel descent. You get back the cusp form, cuspidal guy, which leaves to GL is, is just the guy you start with. Okay, and so the largest uh, partition uh, is, is this, which is in uh, the in, in the wave front set. So, so in other words, you justify these conjectures with springs. And of course, the, you can also now uh, from the GGP for non-tempered L parameter, right? Uh, so the paper. 2020, 2020. So you can view this descent as, as a case which is uh, non generic, non tempered GGP. Yeah, so this is an example uh, which supports their conjecture. And so, so now you see, uh, you can put uh, this descent in a very beautiful uh, diagram like this. So you start with a tempered guy, a carcass form, right? And so you do Lanlan's quotient to SO and then descend down 
to the to the art, and then Lana the functionality goes back to Tau. So you can also locally, right? So you can go to SP and then Fre Jacobi down to SP Tilta, and then Lana's functionality goes back to Tau. Yeah. And how about this? These are theta correspondence. I think uh, this we did uh, with David in, in our paper, uh, uh, I think 2000, forgot, 2003, I think. And then this is, is also the theta correspondence. I think Bai Ying did it. Yes, you can see the correspondence to this. So in other words, you have a, a very beautiful that commuting diagram. Yeah, so everything is commuting here. Okay. So uh, yeah, according to our theory, you can extend this uh, this tower, the, this diagram to to higher. Yeah, you can lift it up, uh, do more. Uh, yeah. So we will not talk about this. Yeah. So I think I mentioned in one my talk in Oberwafa about this, but. Uh, yeah, you can extend this to higher tower. Um, but before the end of my talk, I, I post some questions. So when G is SO2 and yeah, the, the same for classic group. So you take a pi and, and the twist Jackie module uh, is a smooth representation of this, okay? And, and my theorem with Lay shows that for periodic groups, if this guy is non-zero, and then you can you can have a sigma. Uh, actually, we can choose sigma to be tempered. Okay, yeah. But if if pi has generic parameter, we can choose this guy as tempered, such that pi can be embedding as a sub repetition of this uh, induced repetition. Yeah, so this is like, uh, it's not an usual, not a usual parabolic induction anymore, right? So, it, it, but, but it's induced from this uh, complicated data. But it, it is a, a kind of sub module theorem, right? Sub module theorem, it's, 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 Generalize, generalize this uh, like a Kasserman sub module theorem. Yeah. So, but idea to prove this is, is that the each each Bernstein component you have to show that this is finite type. Okay. But the question is how to prove a similar theorem for the similar theorem for for the Archimedean case. Uh, you, you know, e even pi is tempered or, or you know, custom work uh, situation. That we, do, we don't know how to prove this for the moment. Yeah, it, it will be interesting if someone can help or, or can prove this theorem. Mm -hmm. yeah, another question is about the spectrum. Yeah, from the discussion, uh, or local descent, we suggest that you know, the local, local descent or twisted jacket module has a nice spectrum structure at the first occurrence. Yeah, at least for uh, first occurrence. Yeah, so the later occurrence, uh, sorry, early occurrence will be, I, I don't know how to say it. It's, it's, it's this is the first occurrence and the, the later occurrence is will be um, more complicated uh, as our experience uh, for with theta correspondence, okay. So my, my work with Lay show that in the PRD case, um, pi has generic L parameter, and th the first occurrence was direct sum of discrete series. So it is a very nice spectrum. And, and this local descent for non-tempered situation is not bad. So we descend, we descend from the Lalan's, Lalan's quotient, which is non-tempered, and we got even better case. Yeah, super hospital representation. So, so the question is, uh, what can we say about the spectral decomposition or local descent at the first occurrence? Yeah, so when pi is local, uh, at least the pi 
uh, f is local and pi is asset type. Yeah, that, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, happy birthday, Gordon.